Hi, welcome to this video today, which is all about Forex trading strategies for beginners. And what we're going to be doing today is looking at the techniques of one of the world's top hedge fund managers. His name is Jim Leitner. Not many people have heard of him, but his track record is absolutely fantastic. And I came across him in a book, which I'd recommend any serious trader go and read, which is called The House of Money, which interviews a lot of great hedge fund managers and traders. Leitner's is the longest interview in the book. And for me, it's the best. If you want a strategy based upon technical analysis, he's got some great tips. Also, if you want to you know, get an understanding of the fundamentals and the sentiment behind the technicals, a lot of traders are intimidated by doing this. They think they can't. He's got some great simple tips that anyone can learn. I think if you do know the fundamentals and sentiment behind the chart, you will get clues to where the chart may go. Now, he did say in his interview, there's one strategy that is a no brainer to use. Anyone should consider it. And yeah, we're big fans of, of this way of trading. It's called reversion to a mean price. So I'm going to go through what that is. Then I'm going to go through um, some other tips on you know, using technicals correctly. Also, a simple fundamental analysis and how to judge sentiment as well. But let's start with reversion to a mean price and what it is. I'm just going to do a, a quick example and you'll see why it's such a timeless method in, in terms of achieving trading success. Let's just have a look at a quick example and then we'll go through uh, some other tips from Leitner. As well. Just on chart of British pound against the USD, I'm just going to give a simple example of uh, trading reversion to a mean price. And yeah, like any way of trading, uh, it, it is an art. It isn't a science. You've got to work out a way of doing it. But the theory uh, basically is soundly based and anyone can understand it. Okay, Prices rise slowly over time in any financial market. Look at any chart you want and you'll see that. Short term price spikes and high volatility are purely driven by human emotion, greed or fear. They fade. They're temporary. You can see any big price spike on a chart, it's going to fade back. OK, prices will normally revert back to an average or mean price. So simple moving average. You, you basically you use a moving average. You're smoothing out those fluctuations. OK, those uh, short term fluctuations. We're going to be using 20 day moving average in our example. Now, the theory is based on human nature and never goes out of date. Um, it's always going to happen. You're always going to get the big price spikes. They're always going to fade. Why? Because human nature never changes. Greed pushes prices too far up. Fear prices are pushed too far to the downside. Now, in terms of trading, version to a mean, many different ways of doing it. I'm just going to show you a very simple way here and a, a trade we did in our member center just based around using uh, a Bollinger Band. Um, and yeah, it's a standard indicator. What you've got, you've got a 20 day moving average, the green line in the center, then the orange bands are two deviations, okay, in terms of volatility from the average. And what you'll see when not much is going on in the market is prices tend to come back from the outer band to the mid, okay? Then they'll go to that outer band, they'll come back to the mid, up to outer, back to mid, up to outer, back to mid, outer, back to mid. Okay. Now you'll notice in this part of the chart, prices aren't really moving aggressively. There isn't much volatility and prices you know, are staying pretty close to the average price. Then you're going to get uh, a period of greed, which is going to cause a price spike. Now, see prices start to rise here. Okay. Now, just behind the chart, the Bank of England, people thought they were going to indicate a rate rise in the UK next month. Get a little bit of a pause. Bank of England, yeah, released their statement saying they're going to raise rates in the coming months. Not, not next month, but the market takes it as next month. Greed comes in. You get follow through buying as people try and get in on the action, push outside uh, of the outer band. And then what happens? Yeah, everyone who's bought on the Bank of England raising rates next month 
has bought. Okay, so if they do it, then prices are probably going to come back anyway because price has been pushed too far. And you see it here, this candle comes down, we're starting to form the top, small candle here. This candle here is the exhaustion. There's one more push of the bulls and it fades back. Then we've got resistance meets. Then we just simply tumble back to the uh, average and actually overshoot it, which is pretty common after you get a big price spike, okay? What you'll notice is this candle here has almost got back to where the rumor pushed prices up. So you're, you're basically retracing the whole move, okay? Um, for us, that, that's a decent trade. When you get a universal consensus that uh, you know, something is gonna happen, traders have all bought on it, price has been pushed too far, look to go the other way, go against the majority. Now, obviously you have to practice reversion uh, to the mean, like I said, it is an art, it's not a science. This is a simple way of doing it. There's there's plenty of other ways, but yeah, it's a timeless strategy. You don't need to do anything fancy, okay? You see a lot, yeah, it's one of the points I make all the time in terms of trading strategies, all these fancy pattern-based strategies going back forever with numerous lines and so forth. Um, yeah, Forex markets are not predictable. Um, it's an odd space game, but the odds are on your side when you trade against a price spike. So that's a simple example. Right, let's move on to some more tips from Jim Leitner tech, uh, on the technicals, uh, fundamentals and trading sentiment. Okay, we're just going to look at some uh, general trading tips uh, from Jim Leitner before we move to his quotes. Um, point number one, uh, we just obviously looked at this one. Uh, if you're a beginner to the markets, you want a great way to make money. Um, it is using daily or weekly reversion to the mean strategies. Anyone can master doing this method of trading. And, and it can be done purely technically, but you can also, you can use the fundamentals and sentiment to back up your view as well. Now, in terms of... Um, Leitner, he is really a fundamental trader and he makes a point actually that many people are intimidated by making a forecast of where let's say a currency pair might go and he, he makes the point that basically you're as likely to be right as the so-called expert okay now this has been proved by the work of Philip Teflock um did a great experiment where over several years he tested experts against non-experts and yeah the field of finance was included now at the end of the experiment who did better well you very often found the so-called non-expert beat the expert especially in finance so why is this now when you make a forecast about the market you could be right or wrong okay that's obvious however the so-called experts were too focused on holding their opinion okay they wouldn't change it the non-experts would and this is where he says yeah when you do trading signals run the counter argument against the position you've got you've got to think of um things that are not confirming your market view most people gravitate to information that confirms their market view okay They'll hunt it out. They'll never look for the counter argument. They'll want to stick with their opinion. As humans, once we've made an opinion, it really does take a big impetus to change it. And that, that's just general for most people. So he's saying it's one of the hardest things to do. He has to constantly train himself, run the counter argument, see if things have changed. If they have, change your view. Okay. Now, in terms of if you want to study the fundamentals, you've got to read up and, and get some information on what they are it makes the point use the right media sources not the, the biased ones or the ones where the so-called yeah experts from banks and brokers are, are talking their own book a lot of the time i that yeah if their bank is in dollar yen the research department is obviously making an argument for it going up he says the best source of trading ideas is The Economist. It's an English publication. I've read it since I was at university. And like I says, it's great because you get really insightful 
information. It's unbiased. It's not written by you know, people in banks and brokerages. It's people with a detached point of view. And Leitner makes the point, and he says that basically he could be a successful hedge fund manager by just reading The Economist. That's how much value he puts on it. And I saw another hedge fund manager as well say similar, that it is just the most important resource for anyone who wants to trade the fundamentals. Now, in terms of the media generally, yeah, Light makes the point that a lot of the reporting, all the news you see, is just justifying noise in the market. Yeah, every twist and turn is justified. Do not focus on those small twists and turns. It's all done after the event. He's saying, focus on the bigger picture. Get away from the noise, okay? Not every news story matters. We just live in a um, a society now where 24-hour-a-day news is the norm. And a lot of it, yeah, they've got to say something. Most of it that they say in a day is not relevant. Yet yeah, focus on big fundamentals. If you're focusing on news events, only the big ones like central banks, for example, inflation numbers, non-farm payroll, not things like yeah, housing starts or something like that. Now, he makes the point, yeah, don't specialise in one area. Now, he's a global macro trader, so he's searching out currencies, he's searching out shares in any country in the world. But the actual general point of don't specialise is, is right. Yeah, in terms of markets, they all move the same way, uh, human emotion, greed and fear. If you're doing currencies, why restrict yourself to a few majors? I know a lot of traders who do this. You're best off to look at as many pairs as possible, pick the best chart formation. I've said it in numerous videos. You'll very often get better opportunities in minor pairs than major pairs. Okay, also they've got less speculative interest in them. And yeah, that means less noise. So try and study as many pairs as you can. I would do yeah, 30 to 40 a day. I'd recommend the more, the better, okay? Um, especially when you're doing yeah, those daily and weekly reversion to the mean strategies. Now, risk control, we all know it's important, money management. Slight like that says, you yeah, know, losses don't really bother him. Your trading probabilities, you're gonna get them wrong. Just keep your risks small. But it does say that yeah, a lot of people have a problem with taking losses. And a great way to give yourself an independent money manager is to trade options. Now I'm talking about traded options here, not binary options, because they give you instant risk control. All you can lose is the premium that you've bought. That's it, you can't lose anymore. And that gives you peace of mind. Yeah, you know your maximum risk, you've got unlimited profit potential, and also options will allow you to ride out short-term volatility without being knocked out by a stop. So options are a great risk control vehicle. Um, exposure, uh, what, how much should you be prepared to lose in the markets? You always need to know what your exposure is, and it shouldn't, this is just my view, be more than 10%, okay? If it's above 10%, your risk of ruin increases dramatically the further you get away from the 10% number. So always know your maximum risk. And, and Leitner makes this point uh, and, and stresses it. A lot of traders just don't know their exposure. You need to know it. He also makes the point, yeah, do some harvesting. What he means by that is harvest profits regularly. Keep in mind how much money you've got in your overall account, okay? Forget about the trade positions. It doesn't matter how good they look or how bad they look. You want to basically you know, keep increasing your account equity. So if you have a really big win, get some profit in the bank or all of it. If you're having a bad time, cut back uh, on, on losing positions before they even hit stop. Yeah, you want to stay as even as possible. Then things over the longer term will run in your favor, okay? Now, in terms of, um, yeah, markets are competitive and mispricing, he talks about. Mispricing today is much less common than let's say it was 20 years ago. What do I mean by that? Well, basically, markets are extremely competitive with the, the, the amount of people who are in them are obviously professionals. And also the speed that we get the information today. Yeah, I've said this before, in yesteryear, 
yeah, maybe 20 years ago, 30 years ago, day traders made money. Yeah, you know, those big price spikes in, in very short time frames you could catch. You won't catch them today. Yeah, you've got high frequency trading programs, etc. Um, so it is very competitive. And this again goes to focusing on the bigger moves and really hunting out the best opportunities. Mispricing is obviously uh, what reversion to the mean is based around. Now, trading success, what does it rely on? Is it an innate skill? Uh, as Leitner says, no, it's not. It's just practice, okay? You can have a method, you've got to practice it, feel it in the market, and then you'll get used to your strategy. There's no way around it. You need plenty of practice. He also makes the point, you need a passion for what you're doing. If you're just in it to make money, um, then yeah, trading is not for you. You've really got to love it and enjoy it to be successful at it. You know, I think that's probably true of yeah, anyone who reaches the top in, in any industry. And of course, perseverance. You're in it for the long term. Okay. You, you're not in it to make money quickly overnight. It's it's a long term game. Okay. And you persevere through yeah particularly periods of drawdown you stick with your method good risk control and you keep trusting yourself now what i'm going to do now is give my favorite quotes from leitner and one of the ones i particularly like is when he talks about market noise and gives the example of how much the euro moved in a 900 day period it become relevant why i think it's so good when you see it anyway the quotes are coming up i hope you enjoyed this video take care have a good day Thank you.